I decided I wanted to fast. I've decided to go on a fast. I'm going insane right now. because this is normally when I eat. This is really when this will, the challenge will start for me. Because this I do on a somewhat regular basis, so I'm used to fast for 18 hours. Now it's gonna be a whole different ball game where I have to like channel the urge to eat into something else because I'm not gonna eat for another 48 hours plus. I really want to see how it is impacting me in my father role as well. Maybe I will become more patient. I don't know. I hope so. I'm going to have to because there's nothing else I can do about it. We are getting ready for another shoot. I told Max to slick his hand back, put it in a low bun, um, and then we're going to go outside. It's windy. Uh, there are sunflowers, so we're going to catch the wind. And these are going to be our profile photos for YouTube. I said to Maya, I'm, I'm starting to get really hungry and <laughs> I need to fill that void of hunger with actions. <laughs> and Maya was saying, oh, we'll save so much time not having to cook. Right? Yeah, but so you're cooking. You're eating. Oof, yeah. So that's going to be tough to see. I haven't updated them on my Oh yeah, yeah, sir. My fasting journey. So, I decided I wanted to fast like 6 months ago and I was like I can fast in September cuz that's when Saga turns 2. I will stop breastfeeding by then and I'll able to sustain my own life without being sucked dry. So, I start tonight. Tonight is when I have my last meal. Max has already started. We're trying to stagger it by a day so we can still be more present for Saga because we'll probably be hangry or something. So I start tonight. I'll go get Saga today. We're gonna go over to a friend's house on the way back home. But yeah, I'm fasting uh, for spiritual reasons. I have a few things on my heart that I'm taking to God. I'm gonna do that. Um, with no food in my system. I attempted to do a fast once. I attempted to do a seven day juice fast. I made it to day three and was shaking <laughs> and like almost fell down the stairs <laughs> at my like mom's house. Yeah, yeah, so I know it's gonna be rough. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. But I, I feel like I'm older, like this is 20 years later, so I'm so curious to see how, how I process these next few days. Yeah, it looks fun. Funny because now the top is slipped and the bottom is puffy. Okay, so we're done with the shoot. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to use it for, but I know that we wanted to have new profile pics for YouTube. So but then our creative mind sort of wandered another direction too. So that's usually what happens when you do a photo shoot. You just don't end up with what you were supposed to do. You'll end up with more than that, so. Or less maybe, because you might not end up using it.
Man, I just finished a meditation session out here in the forest. I was feeling very, very uh, crank, like cranky and hungry because I've been working intensely uh, on the computer. And it's so amazing how attentive my ears are. Like I can hear so everything so much more clearly. Are you telling me that the distraction of eating has that much of an impact already? I'm approaching the 24 hour mark and I'm like, I feel just so content. Like I get emotional, like I was like crying during my meditation session because I was like, so much things came to me. I can't imagine how it's gonna be moving forward, but man, this is a lesson to take for sure. Like how the mind, like I've heard people talk about these things, but it's kind of similar to like a psychedelic experience like in that world fascinating stuff oh this is i'm really really grateful to be on this journey the first 24 hours on my fasting journey and i've overcome that first proper hunger hurdle to my amazement i started to find an incredible attentiveness towards everything in my surrounding really I became more aware of my circumstances, sound became so intense and so close. And as I combined reading and nature, I even felt more attentive. This is not a state of mind that I'm always in, this is something I should always strive for. And so far, I'm so grateful for what this journey has given me. It's given me an awareness, a lesson that I now can always and forever carry with me. Saga and I had dinner at a friend's house that is like so close. <laughs> yeah, at first they weren't and then they warmed up to each other. Yeah, so I had my last dinner. It was soup and pancakes, which is a thing here in Sweden on a Thursday, Thursday night dinner. So that was my last meal. I'll report back. Workout. Okay. Okay, so Biceps. let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes, yo. <sighs> I have a throbbing headache. All I can think of is food. <laughs> So I'm going to go to bed. We'll see if I can even get some sleep tonight. Good night. now on hour 39 so I woke up I felt a bit fatigued um, but then as I slowly when I got my water and I slowly I like, started moving my body again I started realizing I'm not hungry I feel very um, energized I feel motivated so I've been cleaning the house I was doing stretches and overall just feeling normal like, I was talking to my friend the other day on the phone I don't know if also adrenaline has a part of it or like a placebo or some sort of effect where because I'm on a mission and I'm like, I'm competitive, I'm a competitive by nature, I'm also then, I wonder if that is also having an impact on my energy levels. But other than that, I've been feeling great. I obviously realizing I'm struggling more in the house because, you know, there's a fridge over there, there's a, my coffee machine is over there. How are you feeling, Mara? I'm, I'm good. Um, I have water. And so I've been drinking, but I'm such a breakfast person that not having breakfast is like throwing me off. I'm like dry and thirsty, no matter how much water. It's not living water, guys. You got this, my love. You got this. I'm just looking forward to lunch, and that's when I get to eat the word of God. 
So your idea, you're going to read the Bible and do prayers during the times when you're struggling the most? Is that the... Well, for my meals. Mm. For like the time that I would take to eat, I'm yeah. going to just put that to reading. You will prayer. notice that I'm speaking because I know, because I've started before earlier a day yeah it's like those moments are really like because you're already a very visual person when you read the bible and you get these i can assure you that it's going to be even more intense and more visual that's so cool love you love you <laughs> they're doing it back from dropping off saga she was good it was good it was good and she like just took off well, she kind of tried to hold me and i was like oh we're not doing this I wish we did this for your photos. So, uh. Oh. Uh, Photoshop it. I can't. <laughs> I can't Photoshop the shit, guys. But this is, um. Really. No. Oh. I know. Oh, yeah, you like doing it, though. It's fine, it'll go out. Oh, yeah! It's fine, my love. No, the, the thing is not even on it. Mm. Yeah, so how do you shave then? I just do that. Well, let's just take all of this off. Here. Give it up light to see? Yeah. Oh. It's just. I don't realize that there's like a technique to making it not so short. I needed a guard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. What? That's fine. Why do you okay. keep being so negative? Just go for it. Why do you call me negative? Because you're like... When I say, I'm so it's, sorry. It's my hair. And it's, if I'm saying, I'm so sorry, why do you have to give me a label? Because I've been you were saying it on this side but too. But you, you don't kept, need to call okay, me so I can't that. Talk. You cannot call me so negative. I'm sorry. So I didn't negative. call you negative. But I'm, I'm sitting here and you're cutting my hair and it's insecure to have the person with the thing who's like... Oh, oh. Oh no, oh no, this is happening and I'm accepting it. Okay. And it, it would be just easier for me if you just like, we're going with it because I'm fine. And that's fine, but you can say I get that. Because I'm insecure with... When, but when, don't call me names. Okay, I didn't mean to call you names, I'm sorry. hey -o. It looks good, my love. Thank you. Look, we got that all on camera. Hey it is what it is. So I'm on my 42 hour and I am so hungry. I thought the focus point, and this could be just for me, I thought the focus point was, was going to be more consistent and throughout. For me, it's like I get like a really, like an inspiring uh, window and then I try to get as much done and then it, it doesn't last that long. So, so for now, like I'm back into like heavy-headed I have a headache I'm hungry all I can think of is food For me, when I was fasting, I used the opportunities to have lunch by eating the Word of God. Very literal, I know, but honestly, this helped me so much. It not only made um, fasting easier, I had so many questions and so many, um, I had challenges and I, I really wanted help with that. And by meditating on His Word, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it, it transformed my life. And honestly, it gave my fasting that much more meaning and clarity in my life. I just got back from dropping off Saga at her aunt, my sister. And then as I was driving, I just realized, I just paid attention to the marketing of all these fast food 
like signs and how prominent and like intriguing they really are like how they really work good when you're hungry too <laughs> like man i was just like man I, I would break my fast for a little you know the worst food ever but, you didn't. but i didn't i'm here i'm determined i'm competitive i'm excited about the results it's officially 24 hours since I've had my last meal. The last meal I had was a good one. It was special. Um, so today, uh, I was fine. When was I fine? After lunch, after like, you know, reading the word and I took a nap. <laughs> I'm like, why not? It's Friday. <laughs> um, so after that, I, I got up and I actually spoke to Rochelle. Miss Rosh Posh, I just reached out to her. We had a little kiki moment. I would like to do some crocheting. I crocheted this bucket hat. I mean, my hair is up, but it's like that. So I think I just need to do like one or two more rows. I ordered a bunch of books. So I ordered, oh, this, hold on. He laughed, he scoffed. <laughs> a little bit, it's just so funny. The evidence of study there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this one, Max. It's good to have books. It's, it's good to have books. <laughs> it is. I'm the same. Anyways, I started reading this one. This is a really good one. Supernatural Childbirth. I highly recommend it. And I got this. I was just reading. It. I'm like, oh, I should record this. So it's really cute. I was about to cry, cause even though it's the power of a praying mom. Um, it says here, I have noticed that many moms pray often for their children, but they don't always pray for themselves. So I was just like, <laughs> anyways, it's fun. So I'll, I'll get into that. And that's day one. Look, I realize, man, no matter what I say or what I do or how I try. This is the first time I feel like something is happening in my body that's a bit disturbing. I feel like tingling sensation in my in my hands and my underarms and I like it feels like a little bit hard to squeeze and I think it's because I have lack of electrolytes maybe prior to the fasting for next like time stored up on electrolytes <laughs> stored up on it or maybe like even had it during the fast mm -hmm. just as a to get some salt and potassium oh, right. we'll see how I feel in the morning Again, this is not a, like this is not life or death. Like I'm not gonna, if I'm feeling like my body is like shutting down or like not can't handle it, I'm I'm not gonna push it. I'm not that personality. I'm competitive, but when it comes to like my body and stuff, right. I I get really like, I take it seriously. When you deny also, the flesh, you say yes to the spirit. See what I gotta deal with. <laughs> But relationship like this works too. You don't always have to be that similar. Yeah, you, I think you 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 make things work. You might look at this and be like, "How do they do it?" But it's actually not that complicated. We should do a video on on that. Like, how how do you be different of different faiths and still? Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, you know I love you, right? I love you. You know I respect you, right? I love you so much. You are the love of my life. Okay. I'm going to watch this movie and then I'm going to pass out. Okay, I don't think we thought this one through, but we ended up going to the store the next day. Mid fast and we choose to go to the grocery store. And we were, <laughs> as you can imagine, just blown away by all the sweets and treats Although admitting that this was wild prior to going into the grocery store, we found ourselves feeling kind of inspired by everything and also knowing that we couldn't have anything of it. So we did some shopping with new cooking aspirations for the future. Although I don't know if we're actually going to follow through, but it was actually a fun experience. <laughs> have some water. Yeah, I will. Oh, so thirsty. That was inspiring and torturing yeah. at the same time. Like I got all these ideas. I was telling Max, I'm like, I'm baking bread. How do you make bread? I like go on Google in the store. I'm like, let's buy some yeast. I'm making bread. Yeah. Just stick to it now because I would love to have your bread. I'm going to make bread this week. 
Man, if you can make bread on oatmeal, then and, that would be... And soup. I want to make soup. <laughs> Carrot soup now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually making a soup that Maya won't be able to have. But I'll put it in the freezer so you can have it tomorrow. I'll put it in the fridge. Oh, yeah. So you can have it when you break your fast. You're almost there, my love. You're almost there. No, it was being in there that <coughs> threw me off. Yeah. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go. Tell me if it's too hard. That's oh, perfect. Oh. Man, I miss food. <laughs> I just miss it. <laughs> me too. Like, it's I'm not fun. even hungry anymore. Like, for me, I'm not hungry. No. I just, like, I miss, like, chewing and feeling stuff on my tongue. <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to brushing my teeth. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Just so I can have something on my tongue. <laughs> Max is watching a movie. I'm gonna clean out this fridge, especially this freezer. I gotta make room for the food I really want. Chicken. Ta-da, this is going in the compost. here all summer. I'm 30 minutes away from my fast being done and I'm making a soup. So I want to make something that's easy to digest like before, if I hadn't done my research, I would have jumped on like a pizza or like a burger, like my favorite meal just to celebrate what we've gone through. But that could prove to be a reverse uh, reverse reaction to your body, which, which means basically that all the work you did with this fast will mean nothing. All these vegetables are from our garden and uh, that's going to be what, I'm, what I am eating. And obviously I'm not going to eat that much. So Maya is not here to celebrate my success. Uh, she is in our office because she still has another 24 hours to go. So I don't judge her for that. Like she saw me here preparing and she was like, oh man. So she went out for a bit. I'm not even obsessed with food. I, I, cause I feel like I found like such a grounding in the mental journey that I've gone through these three past days that I could go on, like easily go on for another 24 hours. I don't want to because I don't know what that would mean to my body, but I just feel that I could survive another 24 hours. But this was the goal. I'm here, I did it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this vegetable soup. I, vegetable soup was not what I thought I was gonna break this fast with, but. <laughs> Like, like this. I did it. Ah. Uh. I can't believe this is happening. I literally have food in front of me. A big, nice bowl of vegetable soup. And I have some electrolytes here. I ended up not taking any electrolytes throughout the whole fast. I was getting worried about my joints, but they feel perfectly fine. I'm learning that throughout this time, like I've gained such an amazing relationship with my habits and seeing how much of a distraction it is in my everyday life doing such a big limitation on yourself really puts you into the to the it puts it into perspective on how much focus you put towards it unconsciously and when that's taken away from you you are you know putting that energy towards different things for me it's been conversations with maya reading meditation stretching uh 
breathing exercises, just all of that, um, working even, um, which I didn't think I was going to do. I, I didn't think I was going to work at all, but I've been really productive and creative, like writing things down. So would I do this again? Yes. Was it hard? Not as hard as I thought it was. I don't know how much of the competition, adrenaline of doing something new comes into this. I wonder if, it, if I were to put this into a daily routine or like a monthly routine or whatever, I feel like it would be harder. I feel like it would be more challenging to do this again when I've already done it. Because now I, I, I get so excited to try new things and how am I going to react and stuff. So anyway, now I'm going to enjoy my food. It's like I can't even... It's like I don't even know if I want to. Like I don't want to go back to... I don't, I don't want to ruin this moment. <laughs> it's so good, I want to cry. And the patience I have to eat after 72 hours is also like, you know, when you're starving and you get your food, you just like throw it into it, like you just pour it all into your system right away. No, I'm enjoying this. I can fit all the carrots, the, the broccoli. Mm. Mm. Listen, I'm going to enjoy this now. Thank you for joining me and let's now make sure that Maya managed to do this too. Put all the focus and support to her. She's doing really well. Obviously she can't be here with me right now, but uh, stop, stop. I said stop. Mm. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. I love you. I just walked in here and I smell all the aromas. Oh, I didn't put a bag in there. Um, and was asking Max how his first meal was. Oh! That was insane. You know, I, it was. Like some people do like, they taste like a candy bar and stuff because it's like, they say that if you do that, it's like the best thing. I could have eaten anything and it was so good. Just amazing. But it was all of it, like the vegetable from our garden. Yeah. Like me sitting down, doing my, you know, prayer and just like appreciating and just like, no, it's, it's, it's weird. It's really weird. And the fact, you know, when we get so hungry, I was telling them like, when you get hungry, mm. after, like when you haven't eaten, like when you super, like you're starving for lunch. And then you're like, you eat like, like, I haven't eaten for 72 hours yeah. and I'm like, savoring, taking it some time, yeah. like, like enjoying it, smelling it. If it wasn't because I'm going now, I would have enjoyed it even more. Yeah. That's the only reason. Wow. So good. So good. So good. So now, my love, just be strong if you do this. Yeah. No, it's a good reminder because at lunch, I always, like when it comes to food, I always just scarf and sometimes I'm like, wait a minute, I have to pray. Yeah. So, I'll take care of one down, one more left to go. So Max is at the football game. I have an empty house, doing some dishes. The smell of the soup is really good, but I want to do some worship music uh, before I wrap it up with you guys. So I just wanted to sing a song. CC. Wine ins, believe for it, copyright claims, so I'm just gonna sing in the headphones. <laughs> they say this mountain can be moved. They say these chains will never break. But they don't know you like we do. There is power in your name. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. 
So much power in your name. Move the immovable, break the unbreakable. God, we believe. God, we believe for it. A miracle. God, we believe. God, we believe. I'm making date chocolate balls um, and I made a smoothie and a vegetable soup as you already see me eat for Maya to have to celebrate her fast being done and um, these are all supposed to be easily easy digestible things like there's no preserved sugar or any it's just the dates it's just the dates but they are also like I heard that if you uh, blend fruits and vegetables they lose they they get easily easy to digest e easy to digest so i came in and i'm like big eyes like what are you doing <laughs> i've just been thinking about food it's so funny because i'm not even hungry but my mouth like my brain my my tongue my teeth miss chewing and flavors my goodness oh Thank you, Max. I have an amazing husband who like is just so thoughtful. I, I wish I hadn't been fasting, otherwise I would have made you something, she said. So I was out picking, I, I walked with Saga so she could fall asleep. And um, I pulled over the side of the road because there's all these lingon berries, which look like cranberries. So I picked a bunch, cause I'm fasting. Max was worried about me cause I didn't have my phone. And he like drove. <laughs> he drove to. He thought I had passed out, guys. So cute. Well, you were worried. You never drive. So I'm just gonna bring you outside because I was gonna do this without recording. I'm like, what am I doing? I should vlog oh, these this. These are good, Maya. These are so good. <laughs> well, I'm just counting down. Like, what time is it? You're almost there. What time? It's 12:30. Woohoo, 12.30! I have uh, five more hours. So how long has she been sleeping for? I don't know. I don't. Even, I have no phone, so I had no idea. You guys, <laughs> I'm gonna just make a coffee for me first. Okay. Oh! 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 Okay, it is 5.42. I had my last meal Thursday at 6 p.m. So I have 15 minutes until I had can have dinner come around this is my first time attempting to fast for god <laughs> like i'm just doing this for god and to see what i am capable of yep. it's so wild that this time around like i even decided to do my makeup today and i'm like putting on a cute little outfit for you guys because um i don't feel like i don't feel like what i felt before before I was like <laughs> this time I just feel very um, 
I feel very good. Um, I realize I am less hungry than I am. Like I just miss food. I miss the flavors of food. I miss the ritual of like opening a fridge and putting stuff in my mouth and like yeah i miss a lot about food um that being said i i, I get concerned about fasting in the future because i we'll see how this week goes because i feel like binging right now um like my mouth feels like binging but my stomach and my body don't um so there's that and um what else I would say, Max asked me, do I feel any, like, different spiritually? I don't know. Like, maybe? Like, I've had a few revelations during this time. Like, just, yeah, I've had a few. And that's, between, I'm going to keep that between me and God. <laughs> but I've had a few revelations. I haven't had any, like, experiences um, that I'm aware of. I think the biggest thing I've taken out of this is that I can fast and I could probably go on for seven days like another four days um I will say today was like I woke up in the morning feeling super weak and afraid that I might like pass out that was in the morning um it's weird that my body just regulated that's where I'm at that's how my fast was and I'm going to enjoy this meal that Max had made even though the soup is a day old <laughs> um, it's from our garden and uh, I he also is gonna have smoothie and date balls Ooh, so I'm excited about that <laughs> uh, I guess this may or may not be your sign to fast I gave you my two other experiences they were awful they were super awful this time around I would do it again I'm just afraid I just don't want to binge that's what I don't want I don't want to binge what I want is to savor every moment every flavor because I have the tendency to just like bah! I don't want to do that I just want to be like enjoying Max is warming up the soup I have a grape I have been eyeing these grapes so I'm just gonna like start my appetizer <laughs> from grape. Huh? Is it so weird? On, yeah, do it player, man. Like, manifest that. <laughs> Should I make you some porridge? Some grat? No. Not grat? No. No. Mm. Oh. oh, you know how. So good. Mm. Your yeah. husband is a chef. Saga, no throwing. And we out here.